Are you throwing everybody? Steady. Steady gunshot. How you been? Yeah, I've been away for a couple days. I'm back. Let me get the spectacles on. How you doing? Before I was out there. Hey, how, you, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah. Yeah, the mafia. How you doing? I love it. Just kidding. And we got here is the other night I went over to Cabela's and uh, couldn't pass this up. I got it for two sixty nine. It was on sale for two ninety nine. Then I had a twenty dollar coupon, and some money off. It's the uh, it's the Ruger SR nine E. It's the same as an SR nine. A few differences on it. Comes in a cardboard box. They don't put it in a plastic box. Big deal. And it comes with one uh, magazine. Big deal. I'll buy another one for thirty bucks. Um, I'm gonna open it up and show you. Obviously, there's nothing in it. It's open. You got uh, one magazine, and there it is. Um, what you have is uh, it's a nice gun, and the reason why I like it is because number one, it fits my hand nice. Number two, Ruger makes a quality gun and I just I love the looks of this gun it's it's like all blacked out nothing fancy on it I'm not happy with where they put the serial number they got a block of aluminum in there so I think I'm gonna black that out that's what I'm gonna do um, but for right now I'm gonna leave it I did some clean in my own and I greased the gun the way I do it normally trying to break it in a little bit it does have a magazine disconnect which I don't like that will be coming out. I'm going to try to do a video on that soon. Um, it has steel sights. It does not have the loaded chamber indicator like the SR9 does, which to me is ridiculous anyways. I can't stand the looks of it. You got your thumb safety. It's ambidextrous. It's on both sides. You have your magazine disconnect right there. It's on both sides. It's ambidextrous. You have a brake on the trigger, which is supposed to be a safety. It's got a pretty good trigger, but you really don't know until you start shooting it how it feels. Um, it's pretty simple to take apart. You uh, pop the magazine out, open that up. You got to push. Where am I here? I can't even see where I'm doing. That down. All right, so what now you do is you push this out right here. The pin gets pushed out like that take that pin out and you pull that comes right off you got nice stainless barrel it's pretty good quality by the looks of it this is not black nitride it's a black oxide finish they say it's supposed to hold up we'll see if not I'll get a new one because it's guaranteed for life um, magazine goes back in another way they cut corners you got a plastic guide rod which I'll upgrade that to stainless that's not a big deal at this point I've never had a problem with the plastic ones but I will upgrade it um, simple goes back on like that when it goes back on what you have to do is you push your trigger let me see if I can do this that has to be down trigger has to go forward like that and then you push that back just a hair you push this in just that you gotta go all the way back to where that slot is see the slot and it's done boom pretty simple Ruger 9e e is for economy like I said, they cut a few corners on it, but it has nice steel sights on it. Back one's adjustable for windage. Um, like I said, you got a thumb safety, which ain't going to work because your magazine's not in there. See what I mean? So, there it is. It's on, off, on, off. It, uh, I've been just racking it a lot, trying to break it in. Get a little bit of grease on the barrel there it annoys me i keep cleaning it but it has a rail on the front you could obviously put a light on there or a laser i don't think i'm going to do that um, i will order another magazine 
the back strap. Let's talk about the back strap on this gun. I have it flat right now because it. I love the way that that feels. My hand is right, perfect. See that? It's beautiful. Now the way it came was in the box was the back strap was humped. There's a pin on the bottom. You get a little punch. You just like push that out, and this back uh, back piece back strap slides right out. You flip it around, put it back in. It's got a hump in it. I'll go over that when I do the disconnect video on how to make this so you can have a loaded, uh, have the chamber loaded and have the gun fire with no magazine in it. I will take care of that. I will be doing that shortly. Um, so for right now, I just want to say I got this gun for 269 at Cabela's. Uh, you look at the videos on YouTube, it's a great gun. I look forward to shooting it. I haven't shot it yet because I want to do some things to it myself. I cleaned it myself and greased it the way I like before I even shoot it. The grease that came from the factory was very, very dry stuff. I have no idea what it was, but it was terrible. Um, so I will be doing a video on the magazine disconnect. It's got a nice, nice spring on that magazine too. Some of them don't really come out that easy. I like that. So I'm going to sign off. This is the Ruger SR9 family, SR9E economy version. Like I said, it comes with one magazine, just like you see it. Only comes in black like this. You can't get the stainless on there for the, the economy version. Um, steel sights, plastic guide rod, um, safety, trigger brake, thumb safety, which is ambidextrous, both sides. Um, just wondering why you see that there. It's only on one side they got it painted. I wonder why they do that. I guess it really doesn't matter. But, um, Ruger SR9E. We're going to do some videos on it at the range. And uh, I'll keep you posted. But I uh, got this for $269 at Cabela's. It's a great gun. It also fits in my uh, my Phobus paddle holster, which is for a um, Smith & Wesson SD9VE. So if you have a holster for a Smith & Wesson SD9VE to value enhanced model, this fits right in perfect. So uh, check the holsters you have before you go buy one. Great gun, great price, and uh, like I said, the more expensive version is the SR9. Um, it has a different finish on here, which is no big deal. Loaded chamber indicator, which nobody even wants that stupid thing sticking up. Extra magazine and a plastic box. Carry case. I, I got a, not a big deal for me. So I'm going to sign off, say Teddy's Gun Shop. Thumbs up for Ruger on this uh, SR9E. They're trying to keep up with a couple other gun manufacturers that have economy versions. I think it's an amazing gun. And uh, I'm going to sign off. It's Teddy's. SR9E. Go get them. Conceal that weapon. Have a good afternoon.